Harold Elliott Varmus born December 18, 1939, is an American Nobel Prize-winning scientist and was the 14th director of the National Cancer Institute, a post to which he was appointed by President Barack Obama, and before that was director of the National Institutes of Health from 1993 to 1999. He was a co-recipient of the 1989 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for discovery of the cellular origin of retroviral oncogenes. He is currently the Lewis Thomas University Professor of Medicine at Weill Cornell Medicine and a senior associate at the New York Genome Center. Early life and education Varmus was born to Beatrice, a social service worker, and Frank Varmus, a physician, Jewish parents of Eastern European descent, in Oceanside, New York. In 1957, he graduated from Freeport High School in Freeport, NY and enrolled at Amherst College, intending to follow in his father's footsteps as a medical doctor, but eventually graduating with a B.A. in English literature. He went on to earn a graduate degree in English at Harvard University in 1962 before changing his mind once again and applying to medical schools. He was twice rejected from Harvard Medical School. That same year, he entered the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons and later worked at a missionary hospital in Bareilly, India, and the Columbia Presbyterian Hospital. As an alternative to serving militarily in the Vietnam War, Varmus joined the Public Health Service at the National Institutes of Health in 1968. Working under Ira Paston, he researched the regulation of bacterial gene expression by cyclic AMP. In 1970, he began postdoctoral research in Bishop's Lab at University of California, San Francisco. Topic: <laughs> Scientific career and research accomplishments. To fulfill his national service obligations during the Vietnam War, Varmus became a member of the Commission Corps of the Public Health Service, working as a clinical associate in the laboratory of Ira Paston at the National Institutes of Health from 1968 to 1970. During this first period of laboratory research, he and Paston and their colleagues described aspects of the mechanism by which the LAC operon of E. coli is regulated transcriptionally by cyclic AMP. In 1970, he and his wife, Constance Casey, moved to San Francisco, where he began postdoctoral studies with Michael Bishop at University of California, San Francisco under a fellowship from the California Division of the American Cancer Society. Appointed as an assistant professor in the UCSF Department of Microbiology and Immunology in 1972, he was promoted to professor in 1979 and became an American Cancer Society research professor in 1984. During the course of his years at UCSF 1970 to 1993, Varmus's scientific work was focused principally on the mechanisms by which retroviruses replicate, cause cancers in animals, and produce cancer-like changes in cultured cells. Much of this work was conducted jointly with Michael Bishop in a notably long scientific partnership. Their best known accomplishment was the identification of a cellular gene CSRC that gave rise to the VSRC oncogene of Roux sarcoma virus, a cancer-causing virus first isolated from a chicken sarcoma by Peyton Roux in 1910. Their discovery triggered the identification of many other cellular proto-oncogenes—progenitors of viral oncogenes and targets for mutations that drive human cancers. Much of this work and its consequences are described in his Nobel Lecture and Bishops and in numerous histories of cancer research. Other significant components of Varmus's scientific work over the past four and a half decades include descriptions of the mechanisms by which retroviral DNA is synthesized and integrated into chromosomes, discovery of the WNT1 proto-oncogene with Roel Nussi, elucidation of aspects of the replication cycle of hepatitis B virus with Donald Ganim, discovery of ribosomal frameshifting to make retroviral proteins with Tyler Jacks, isolation of a cellular receptor for avian retroviruses with John Young and Paul Bates, characterization of mutations of the epidermal growth factor receptor gene in human lung cancers, including a common mutation that confers drug resistance with William Powell, and generation of numerous mouse models of human cancer. Notably, Varmus continued to conduct or direct laboratory work throughout his service in leadership positions at the NIH, MSKCC, and NCI. Topic: <laughs> Politics and Government Service. 
In the early 1990s, following the award of their Nobel Prize, Varmus and Bishop became active in the politics of science, working principally with UCSF colleagues Bruce Alberts and Mark Kirshner, and with the Joint Steering Committee later renamed the Coalition for the Life Sciences. He also co-chaired scientists and engineers for Clinton-Gore during the 1992 presidential campaign. National Institute of Health Directorship After the resignation of NIH Director Bernadine Healy in April, 1993, Varmus was nominated for the post by President William J. Clinton in July, and confirmed by the Senate in November. As the NIH Director, Varmus was credited with helping to nearly double the research agency's budget, but his tenure was also noted for appointments of outstanding scientists to serve as institute directors, for excellent relationships with members of Congress and the administration, for leadership on clinical and AIDS research, for policy statements about stem cell research, cloning of organisms, gene therapy, and patenting, for promoting global health research, especially on malaria, and for construction of new facilities, including a new clinical center and a vaccine Vaccine Research Center at the NIH. Bush years Varmus supported the presidential candidacies of Al Gore and John Kerry During the George W. Bush presidency, he gave lectures critical of the administration's science policies. But he has also written a laudatory account of PEPFAR, the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, Bush's initiative to combat AIDS globally. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Obama campaign. Varmus declared his support for Barack Obama's quest for the presidency early in 2008 and chaired the campaign's Science and Technology Committee. Following Obama's election, he was named by the president-elect as one of three co-chairs of PCAST the President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology. He resigned from that post to assume the directorship of the National Cancer Institute on July 12, 2010 after being named to the post by President Obama. <laughs> National Cancer Institute directorship On May 17, 2010, the White House announced that Varmus would become the 14th director of the NCI, making him the first person to have served as director of an individual NIH institute after being director of the entire NIH. In this capacity, despite diminishing budgets at all the institutes including NCI, he started new administrative centers for cancer genomics and global health, initiated novel grant programs for outstanding investigators, for staff scientists, and for addressing «provocative questions». He also renamed the Frederick National Laboratory for Cancer Research and started an initiative there to study Ross oncogenes. On March 4, 2015, Varmus submitted his resignation to the President, effective March 31, 2015, announcing his intention to return to New York City as the Lewis Thomas University Professor of Medicine at Weill Cornell Medicine and as a senior associate at the New York Genome Center. Deputy NCI Director Douglas Lowy became acting director of the NCI on April 1, 2015. During his tenure as NCI Director, Varmus took the unusual step of co-authoring with three non-governmental colleagues a critique of several practices prevalent in the biomedical research community. That essay has been the starting point for several subsequent efforts to reduce the hypercompetitive atmosphere in biomedical research. Topic presidency of Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center After leaving the NIH directorship at the end of 1999, Varmus became the president and CEO of Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York City on January 1, 2000. During his ten and a half years at MSKCC, he was best known for enlarging the basic and translational research faculty, building a major new laboratory facility, the Mortimer E. Zuckerman Research Center, starting a new graduate school for cancer biology the Lewis B. Gerstner Graduate School, overseeing renovation and construction of many clinical facilities, and leading a major capital campaign. He also continued to run an active laboratory and to teach as a member of the Sloan Kettering Institute. On January 12, 2010, MSKCC reported that Varmus had asked the MSKCC boards of overseers and managers to begin a search for his successor. He left MSKCC on June 30, 2010, shortly before assuming the NCI directorship. 
Topic publication practices In science near the end of his tenure as NIH director, Varmus became a champion of ways to more effectively use the Internet to enhance access to scientific papers. The first practical outcome was the establishment, with David Lippmann of the National Center for Biotechnology Information at NIH, of PubMed Central, a public digital library of full length scientific reports. In 2007, Congress directed NIH to ensure that all reports of work supported by the NIH appear in PubMed Central within a year after publication. Varmus and two colleagues, Patrick Brown at Stanford and Michael Eisen at UC Berkeley, were co-founders and leaders of the Board of Directors of the Public Library of Science a not-for-profit publisher of a suite of open-access journals in the biomedical sciences. Topic advisory roles Varmus has been a frequent advisor to the U.S. government, foundations, academic institutions and industry. Currently, he serves as a member of the Secretary of Energy's Advisory Board, the Global Health Advisory Board at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Board of Directors of the International Biomedical Research Alliance, the Lasker Foundation Prize Jury, and the Scientific Advisory Board of the Broad Institute at Harvard and MIT, and he chairs advisory groups for the Faculty of 1000 and the Global Alliance for Genomics and Health. In the past, he was chairman of the Grand Challenges in Global Health at the Gates Foundation, a member of the World Health Organization's Commission on Macroeconomics and Health, and an advisor to Merck & Co., Chiron Corporation, Gilead, and Onyx Pharmaceuticals. Topic awards and honors 2012, Glenn T. Seaborg Medal 2011, Double Helix Medal 2005, elected a foreign member of the Royal Society 1989, Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine 1984, Alfred P. Sloan Jr. Prize 1982, Albert Lasker Award for Basic Medical Research Topic Personal life Varmus has been married since 1969 to Constance Louise Casey, a journalist and science writer. They live on Manhattan's Upper West Side and have two sons, Jacob, a jazz trumpet player and composer who lives in Queens, and Christopher, a social worker who lives in Brooklyn. Varmus and Jacob have performed a series of lecture concerts entitled Jeans and Jazz at the Guggenheim and Smithsonian Museums, the Boston Museum of Science, the John F. Kennedy Center for the Performing Arts and the South Asian Summer Festival in Vancouver. Topic references Topic External links The Harold Varmus Papers – Profiles in Science, National Library of Medicine Harold Varmus's Short Talk, How I Became a Scientist President's Council of Advisors on Science and Technology President-elect Obama introduces Dr. Varmus as co-chair of PCAST on YouTube board member profile at the Public Library of Science Harold Varmus's Short Talk, Changing the Way We Publish a film clip, The Open Mind, A Man for All Seasons, Part 1 2004, is available at the Internet Archive A film clip, The Open Mind, A Man for All Seasons, Part 2 2004, is available at the Internet Archive Appearances on C-SPAN Harold E. Varmus on Charlie Rose Harold E. Varmus on IMDb Works by or about Harold E. Varmus in Libraries WorldCat Catalog Archives, Personal Papers of Harold Varmus I, UCSF Archives and Special Collections Personal Papers of Harold Varmus II, UCSF Archives and Special Collections Personal Papers of Harold Varmus III, UCSF CSF Archives and Special Collections Access Excellence Biography Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center Biography Audio, Harold Varmus in Conversation on the BBC World Service Discussion Show The Forum Review, Michael A. Rogowski the Art and Politics of Science Book Review Perspectives in Biology and Medicine 52.1 637–642. The Laboratory of Harold Varmus. <laughs>